everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to make the checkered square bullseye cane. Woohoo! <laughs> but first, we're going to make the simple version and then work our way up from there. Right here, I'm taking this checkered bullseye and I'm cutting it in half. And once I have that in half, I'm going to take one section and I'm going to cut it in half as well. And then take the other half and do the same thing again. I'm going to mark it right here just to kind of see where I'm at and then cutting it in half. Now once you have that done, take each bullseye section and flip them so that the points are facing outward away from the center that they were originally in, like I have right here. Okay, once you have that done, take some red clay, flatten it out through your pasta machine, then roll it up into a log or a jelly roll. Use this for the center of the new cane that you're building. I now cut off the ends and then I'm going to go ahead and press this, or I should say use my fingers, to create this square-like looking log. And it's going to create this like diamond or square look and use your acrylic roller to make it nice and neat, looks really good. And then go ahead, cut off the ends if you need to, like I did here, and then put that right into the center of this cane that you're building. Once you have this, that's kind of the completion of the simple version of the checkered square bullseye cane. Okay, so now that we have that all taken care of, we have the simple cane like that we've built here, we're gonna add on a black layer. And so this is just gonna, this is gonna give you a border, if you will, around this cane. Okay, so I'm gonna take some black clay here and I'm thinning this out on my pasta machine on a number one setting. So this is our, my second largest opening in my pasta machine. And the reason why I'm doing it on such a thick kind of piece of clay is because this cane is still pretty big. So you need to keep that in mind when you're, you know, you're adding in the clay. You're gonna be adding in, you know, thicker sections because when you go to reduce this thing, you don't want them to all just disappear <laughs> because they're too thin because that clay will be extended out so I definitely would say use a thicker setting on your pasta machine to create a thicker piece of clay when you're first creating these canes and now that I've used my blade to wrap up this layer on the cane I'm using my scissors to trim up any extra clay that's around it Now we're going to go ahead and add in our checkered layer. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a black and white stack. That's right. So if you haven't ever done a black and white stack, I have a prior video on that. So check it out. This is done on a number one setting, at least the stack was. The stack was created on number one setting with eight layers. So go ahead and take a slice out, run that through your pasta machine on a number one, and then go ahead and lay that down side by side by side all the way around this cane. And as you can tell here, I use my scissors to trim up any of the odd ends that are coming off of that cane. You can use a straight blade too, but I like my scissors. <laughs> So here we have the checkered part of this cane and you could stop right here and not do anything more and this could be a really fun cane that you can use in any kind of project. But I want to go ahead and add in just a little bit more. So here we're going to go ahead and add in our last layer to this um, square bullseye cane. So I'm taking off, I just, I rolled out some black on a number one setting on my Atlas machine. And we just got elongated out. And then you're gonna take that cane eventually here. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that flush. <laughs> and then put that cane, that bulky cane that we just made. And we're gonna put that on top of that layer of black. And then as I go, I like to kind of cut the edges to conform to the cane. This way then you don't have to measure, no ruler or anything like that. 
And so from here, we're going to go ahead, we've got that extra black taken off, and you're just going to roll it up in that layer. And this will be your final layer of that black. All right, that final little turn, and I have that rolled up in the black. Take your blade, and then go ahead and cut that flush. And this will now give you your final square bullseye cane. Now from here, you can tell it's about, what, two and a half to two and three quarter inches and then one inch tall. So now you need to go ahead and reduce this cane because that's pretty big. So to reduce this, we're going to have to do a little something different because this is a square cane. So you want to be able to make sure that, you know, the points are where they are when you make that square cane. And in doing so, you're going to need some registration marks. So right here, I'm taking some of that red clay that I had like in my diamond center, and I'm placing it on the side in the center, just like that, on the side in the center. And I'm gonna cut off the little ends, and I'm gonna do this all the way around this square cane. Now that I have all four registration marks in place, you're just going to gently pat those down and cut the little ends off like I have here, and then start to reduce. So here we're going to go ahead, you can see all four sides, and it's right in the center. This way then, using my acrylic roller, now that I have those right in the center, I know exactly where that center is going to be, so when I go to reduce it, it'll be easier to figure that out. So press evenly on all four sides as you go around. It's starting to get a little bit of a barbell look, not much. And then bring in your acrylic roller. And again, if you're going to go ahead and a couple of passes with your acrylic roller, make sure you do it on each side evenly as much as possible. So I just wanted to add in an extra note here. Make sure when you use any of the clays I have, do not use glitter clays in caning. Glitter clays are not meant for caning because the larger particles in the clay, your blade can cut down on those. And if you hit one of those glitter pieces, it'll drag through the design of the cane and make your cane a complete mess. So stay away from that part. <laughs> After you have used your hands to push in on this cane using your acrylic roller to lengthen it out and then slightly pulling this cane, let's go ahead and now cut this in the center and see what we have. There we have it, our final result of our square bullseye cane. Here I have the checkered bullseye cane and the different stages it goes through to our resulting checkered square bullseye cane. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a message. I'd love to know what you're thinking. And as always, I'm sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.